الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى ال بيته الطيبين الطاهرين اللهم صل على محمد وال محمد ان شاء الله our lecture is going to be today about the road to Imam Mahdi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam the road to Imam Mahdi is it's easy way at the same time it's very complicated way when you go your way to Imam Mahdi sallallahu alayhi wa you have to know many things it's not just you you do your just regular duties it is something about purity something about purity of ideas purity of the soul purity of many things that we every single day live with many people think that if you cry a little bit about you missing Imam Mahdi immediately you're going to see him even though many narration that from many people around us they will say I did see him in my alhamdulillah for example in my dreams some people they say that I saw him in my dreams but I didn't really look at his face his face was full of nur some people they will say I was for example in my dream uh, doing so and so and suddenly Imam Mahdi came in or one of the Ahlul Bayt Salamullah Alayhim and then my dream continued or there's a message for me or so on with this lectures is going to be not just seeing Imam Mahdi uh, in dreams and or dreaming or see you make your own ideas about Imam Mahdi no we really need to adjust many theories to see him it is like a struggle for us to see him it's like it ha we have been waiting in Alam Azhar, Alam Azhar is the place where we were before here, Alam al Dunya. Alam al Dunya, the place of Dunya. Before Alam al Dunya, there is Alam al Arham, the womb. Well, the womb has different Alam. And then there is Alam after the womb, there is Alam al Dunya. And before that, Alam al Zar. Zar, when you were inside this place where all the spirits gather before we come here. So, when Allah Azza wa Jal created that, just for the people who don't know what Alam al Zar, Allah Azza wa Jal created us all at the same time. So you and your father and your grandfather and all those people, even Adam himself was created with us at the same time. But Allah Azza wa Jal, he managed to put us through each other just to take, uh, take care of each other. That's why you have a son, that's why you have a father. He took care of you. He spent money to teach you. He took you to a different place. Why? Because we need that. Ourself, Allah Azza wa Jal, when he created us, we know we are very, very, very delicate creature. We are different than different animals. We need someone to take care of us for us to reach the safe place. So we can continue with our message. We bring kids, we, te we give them knowledge and so on, and then they will continue. This is what we call the Amar al-Ard. Amar al-Ard is, يعني, uh, we make the Ard as a heaven for us. But the problem now we're seeing is when we keep talking about Khalifatullah al al-Ard. Allah Azza wa Jal, he, in the Quran many times he mentioned the Khilafah of the Khilafah mean uh, not the successorship if you translate it directly it will be the successorship but he mean someone who, who, who represent Allah on earth because he always needs someone to represent him when, when we, he created everything at the very beginning Allah Azza wa Jal because it's, it's impossible for us to understand what is he exactly it's impossible to understand what is Allah uh, Azza wa Jal. Even the name Allah, I thought I mentioned this in many lectures, but for the new people, is a creation. Allah, the name Allah is a creation. And I always give the proof for that. Uh, for example, Alif in Allah, if you take it out, if you write Allah in Arabic, Alif will be, you take it out, will be Lillah. You take the second letter out, will be Lahu. For him, yani, you take the third one, will be Huwa. Huwa means get all gathered together. And then Huwa, as a letter Arabic, exists in the heart. If you see the heart itself, it looks like the Arabic letter Ha. Ha means Huwa. Huwa. Because in the Quran, in the Quran, he said, He is closer to you than your jugular vein. So many philosophers, they will sit down, they will say, Okay, there's the jugular vein and there's the heart. There is the, this is the heart and this is the jugular vein. So how Allah is closer to us than the jugular vein? So there are many, many philosophers. Yani, I'm just making fun. It's not philosophy. It's, to, it's not good to say what, what they're exactly the they're meaning because they're taking knowledge from different school of Ahlul Bayt. Allah Azza wa Jal, he was actually mentioning the heart itself. He didn't, he didn't mention there's a place, hidden place between the jugular vein and the heart. He's mentioning the heart itself, but he didn't want to mention it because some people use the heart for bad things. Some people, they love someone who you shouldn't be in love with because he is against the, the Allah, Allah's wishes or something. 
So he did not use the word heart because of that. If you are close to Allah Azza wa Jal, then your the heart is is representing the throne of Allah. So in going back to our subject, just a little briefing, in going back to the subject, we we see it when we start speaking about the the road I mean the, speaking about khilafa. Khilafa means someone is going to represent Allah on earth. And there's very, very, very bad understanding about Adam alayhi salam. Very bad understanding. Many people start thinking Adam was really in heaven. He was in real the hav heaven upstairs. And then Allah Azza wa Jal, when he said to the, to the devil, you cannot come anymore to heaven. So what he did, because he's a tricky person, the devil, what did he do? He, s he, m he made himself as a serpent or different animal. And then he came in to the heaven. So he started whispering to, the, uh, to Adam and Adam, he listened to him and then Allah, he was so angry that he listened to the, uh, to the serpent and then he threw him all down to earth. In reality, this is, did not happen. Adam, wa he, Allah Azza wa Jal, he created Adam for a reason. And let me tell you something to go more deeper into the subject because this subject is very classical. I'll go a little bit deeper. Allah Azza wa Jal, through uh, say, uh, through Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam through Amir al-Mu'min sallallahu alayhi which is he said before your Adam was 1,000 1,000 Adam yani 1 million Adam before your Adam what does it mean? yani there is different creatures that inhabit earth inhabited earth before us and they were all Adams Adams mean the father of this creature the father of the creature this is will explain the struggle that the people who believe in Darwinism they will say, you know, we came in from those people, those genders. Uh, there's many, many different genders name. And then we're struggling which zen gender we came in from. In reality, Allah Azza wa Jal, He created all those genders. And He kept a link between the, each other. I will show you where is the link exactly. Allah, the link on earth was, uh, let, me, let me go back to Adam himself. Yani, I don't want to go in different subject. I want to stay on Adam and what happened exactly in that small heaven. In that heaven, it wasn't an unreal, in the real heaven, it actually it was a different place. And this place, some people, they said it was close to earth, or it was a place, place on earth itself. But it was like something high, because when he said, Ehbita <laughs> means go down, go down to that earth. Yani, so there is, there is a place a little bit higher, and then go down. In the studying the science of relativity, for example, where where can we say now the angels are coming from? Is if they if we say they're coming from heaven, what do you mean heaven? Like do they travel through universes? Like they go different universes and then they come to Milky Way. They like fly, 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 and then they come to Earth, and then they go back. Or there's something like a portal next to the Earth, and this portal will always bring angels back and forth ask yourself this question and when you go you start asking yourself this question you you will understand that this this alam dunya is just a hologram it is like when you're sitting or holograph or whatever you want to call it it is like when you're sitting in a cinema now you go to the cinema place you sit down behind you there's a projector and then in front of you you see everything right inside that projector is everything is very small but when it is traveled through light it is everything will see it very big Alam dunya is like that. It's holographic. Nothing in it is real. No time is real. No energy is real. Not, nothing except the human spirits, the nafs of insan. It, it is the only thing it is real. So, what, where, where I'm going with that? I'm going, I'm telling you when Allah Azza wa Jal, at the very beginning of the creation, very, very beginning, before creating anything, He created Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Rasulullah mean Ahmad. Yani he's Habibullah. Before being a prophet, he was Habibullah. He was the first creation ever. Allah Azza wa Jal, he made that creation and he perfected. Why? Because when he create different creation, he needs someone to present Allah Azza wa Jal in a perfection way. And this perfection way can only can be through that person, through that spirit. He is the Ruh. Ruh. If you read the Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Inna anzalnahu fi laylat al-Qadr. Allah Azza wa Jal, he revealed the Quran, all of it, to Rasulullah. In Laylatul Qadr and in Night of Power. What, what do you know about that? Laylatul Qadr is khayrun min al-fishar. 
تنزل الملائكة والروح فيها طيب علماء say uh, angels will come and then روح is جبرائيل طيب ما جبرائيل جبرائيل عليه السلام is from the ملائكة why Allah عز وجل he wanna mention جبرائيل with the ملائكة at the same time so there is something that doesn't make any sense when he said تنزل الملائكة والروح الروح is the first thing that Allah عز وجل created everything from everything from and أهل البيت سلام الله عليهم through some narration they said uh, the ruh is like a it's like a big angel big power it has the faces of all the humans all the creation and every one of those faces are doing tasbih for Allah actually what they're talking about they're talking about dimensional creation they're not talking about third dimension of like us when they're speaking about there's too much tasbih equal to all the creation then this this ruh is something huge big Something nobody can understand what is it except if you combine 120,000 dimension together so you understand what is it exactly which is impossible for us to do, to do it now. So far do you understand what I'm saying or any questions? Okay. It's a little bit hard but inshallah it will get easy. So the regarding Adam alayhi salam and, and I will reveal this now a little bit by to show you why when we came into earth Ahlul Bayt Sallallahu Alaihi came with us because that's important to understand because some of you might ask if there was one million Adam before us and one million gender did all genders have Ahlul Bayt with them? I will tell you directly did all genders have Iblis with them? No none of those gender had neither Iblis none of those gender had Ahlul Bayt with them let me tell you why because when when all the spirits were created at the very beginning of the time from Nur Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam all of them they were created and each one of us he came to a place that he chose that Adam this is my Adam for example when I was there as just a light I chose that person is my Adam why because there's a speci specific characteristic through the reflection of light this is like a huge subject I, I explain it many times in different lecture but just I want you to understand about this and this Adam we chose it ourselves because he looked like us I will show you where he looked like us because that something called egotism and stuff like that because he looked like us we chose him so there's let's say one billion billion person chose that Adam as their father and there's one billion billion person chose that Adam as their father so Allah Azza wa when he starts sending Adams first Adam second Adam third Adam all of Adams, none of those, none of them, they buried their, their people inside the earth. None of them. All of them, when they die, they die on, for example, they leave them in the face of the earth, and they put him, for example, inside cave, and they leave. The only Adam that was bur buried is our Adam. Our people, the only people were buried. Before us, no one was buried. For example, two months ago, I was reading a, a sci scientific uh, journal and they, they said we discovered a new gender that may be four million years old and they were like maybe two women or one woman and four kids inside that cave and they were not buried but they're not from our human gender they were from different gender so they were wondering why they're not buried why when we find someone then different than our gender is not buried the very 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 simple things is because we did not understand who is our Adam let me talk, let me show you who is our Adam. Our Adam is the person that Allah Azza wa Jal, they put him, He put him in that heaven. He put that test on him. Same thing like all Adams. He put all Adams in that heaven. And then for the certain period of time, He said, if you don't eat from this uh, tree, if you don't eat from this tree, you will go down to earth because we were created to, to be tested. Let me tell you. Don't blame women to say, oh, woman, they told Adam to go eat from this. And, you know, it, some people, they, they, they even by a joke, they always blame ladies. They say, ladies told us to eat the apple. That's why we're here, because of you. This is what they say. And it, actually, it's not real. What happened is all Adams, they went to that earth for the certain period of time. And none of those people, uh, none of those people approached that tree. Because that tree represents the tree of prophets. Salam Allah the tree of prophets and I made lectures uh, through science showing wh where exactly this is exist here because everything exists in normal life over here anyway so our Adam when he went to that heaven and Allah Azza wa Jal he put him to, to test 
Now the different test is because let me show you where Ahl al-Bayt came in. Look. I want to I want to give you this ayah because I want to give you proof. I don't want to just keep talking from my head. You will say, you know, all this stories there you didn't give us any proof yet. In Surah Al-A'raf number 20, he will say Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. I will read it in Arabic and then English. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Fawaswasa lahuma shaytan liyubdi lahuma ma wara'a anhuma min sawatihima wa qala ma nahakuma rabbukuma an hadhihi shajara illa an takuna malakain aw takuna min al-khalidin. So I'll read it in English, but the shaitan, the evil, made an evil suggestion to them that he might make manifest to them what been what had been hidden from them of their evil inclination. And he said, look what, look how, how, how tricky is he. He said, your Lord has not forbidding you this tree except you, that you may not both be two angels or that you may not be immortal. First, the translation is wrong over here. The translation is wrong. Second, the meaning of the ayah is wrong too, because some people just, they say, okay, let me give you what exactly this ayah is saying. The, the devil came into the, to, to the, I'm, I'm going to explain their perspective, I'll explain my perspective after. They said, the devil came into Adam, he said to Adam, uh, eat from this tree. If you eat from this tree, Allah Azza wa Jal, he said, don't eat from it, because if you eat from it, you will be an angel. And then after that, if you uh, if you be an angel, then you'll be immortal. You're not gonna die anymore. First, there's a big mistake. How if I wanna come to you now? Let's say you have a million dollar. I will come to you. I'll say if you make this business with me, uh, you will make one thousand dollar more. Will you go with me? You're not gonna go with me. Why? Because you already have a million. Why you wanna go down? Adam and the malaika, the malaika came and they bow for Adam. So Adam is higher than them. Why he want to eat from this tree to be an angel? You see, we're just asking question. Why he eat from this tree to be an angel? It doesn't make any sense. So over here, there is a, something wrong. Over here, uh, that the Iblis, he was saying, he was saying, Malakain, Malakain, not angels, not, mala ma not from Malaika. It doesn't, this word didn't come from Malaika. It came from kingdom, Malak, for example, Malak, a king, if we want to talk about Malakain, then there is two kings that the, the Iblis, when he came in, I'll, I'll repeat it back. When Iblis came in to Adam, our Adam, he said, if you eat from this tree, you will be like those two kings over there. There is two Nur, big Nur over there. You will be like them if you eat. And when you be like them, you will be immortal. You will be close to God. Who are those, who are those Malakain are? Malakain, those Malakain are is Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and Imam Ali sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Sallallahu alayhi Muhammad wa alayhi Muhammad. Allahum salli ala Muhammad wa alayhi Muhammad. So when, when someone tell you that, that uh, over here I'll show, uh, we'll show you that Adam, uh, he, he ate from this fruit just to be an angel, it doesn't make any sense. How can someone eat from something to be lower level? No, he's eating from something to be closer to Allah like those two kings over there. And and there's in a Bible itself, if you open the first page, the first page in the Bible, like with, we believe the Bible was a little bit played with, not all of it, you know, you cannot make a whole book. No, if you read the first page in the Bible, exactly it will speak about the light, and this light Allah Azza wa Jal made it at His word, and His word become a nur, and His nur has created everything. He is speaking about the creation of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and this is, exists in every surah in the Quran. So from this one, when when the when when Iblis, uh, the devil, Allah alayhi, came into Adam and he started whispering inside his head about this thing, what's happening is he is he is capturing Muhammad and Ali together just to make Adam better than him, yani against Allah as well. So when Adam he said yes, I will do that. What happened here exactly? What's happened? He put Muhammad and Ali for the first time ever to that test. He put it on those stories. I'll show you where exactly. When he ate, let's say, let's say, let's imagine it's a it's a fruit and it's an apple. Let's say it's an apple, okay? So what happened is the devil he took from that tree. And this tree has seeds inside that. Look, because there are seeds under look, yeah, you need to observe everything in life. When you put seed inside uh, the drop, inside the dust, or uh, it will start growing right you will have a tree 
So there is nur, nur inside those ones under Allah Azza wa Jal. He mentioned many times in the Quran, تحت الثرى, under the ground. And nobody knows what's under the ground is it? What is it exactly? Under the ground is, is Nur Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam with Holy Family. And this Nur came, came up as a tree. And those three, there's a, those apple, and every apple presented by a prophet. You want me to give you a fast example or you're fine with this uh, idea? I'll give you fast, fast, very fast. Are you following or? Okay. Please, if you're not following, tell me to repeat the idea. Let me give you very fast. I, I always use this example. Let's say Isa alayhi salam. You, Isa alayhi salam, look at his name. Inside his name, there's Yasin. Inside his name. You saw Ayn, Ya, Sin, and then Alif Ma'asura, right? You know Arabic letters? Inside his name, Yasin. Yasin is Muhammad. Everybody know that one of his name is Muhammad. And in the corner of Isa is Ali. Ayn and Alif Ma'asura. You see? So, Isa alayhi salam, Allah Azza wa Jal created Isa this way to show us that how Imam Ali was created from Rasulullah. You see? Let's say Noah. Noah. I'm, I'm giving you a fast example for you to convince, to be convinced. Noah is Nuh. Noon, Waw, Ha. Noon is one of the names of Rasulullah. Because Rasulullah in the Holy Quran, he had that 11 names. One of those names is Noon. Noon is Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And then you have Nuh, Noon, Wa, Ha. Ha is Hussein. When, when Rasulullah said, Husaynun minni wa ana min Hussein. And he said later in different place, what, what Noah present? He present the ship, right? And he said, the best ship in my holy family is Hussein. Whoever go into this ship, he's saved. Right? So the name Nuh is Rasulullah wa Hussein. Yani all the prophets, all of them, by their name, was created to teach us about who is Rasulullah. And yani if I want to know who is Rasulullah more, I need to study about the prophets. We don't study prophets because they make good movies about them. Or they have a beautiful stories. We study them because we need to know who is Rasulullah. Because the prophets are one dimension of Rasulullah. I can give you many examples. Musa, Isa, Ibrahim, all of them. All of them they have examples. You can, even Yusuf, even, all of them, all of them. We continue. So when he ate from this apple, basically he is trying to be in the same place like those two, two kings. Muhammad and Ali, salamu alayhi. So let's say the devil, he came and he gave the, the fruit to, I'll show you where the proof after. He will give you, the, he gave the fruit to Eve. He said, eat from that. She said, okay, I'll eat it. Okay. And she, she took small bite. And then the, we, we took it back to, we give it, he gave the, the apple to, to Adam. He said, do you want to eat it? He said, I'm still hesitant. I'm not sure. He said, okay, I'll give you the proof. And then he ate from that himself. And he ate 20% of that apple. Why? Why 20%? Because now the devil he has a 20% access to our body, to our body, in a form of whispering. Because we can block him. We can block the angel. But he always whisper. And the whispering, if you study, for example, you, you can go through your, your one of your, uh, one of your, uh, for example, hearing. This is equal to 20% of what, if you're for your vital signs, they call it English, maybe. And then, at the very end, uh, see. just a second, I understand the, the voice is not working. Salam ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad. Ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad. And then after that, when he, when he ate 20% of this apple, he gave it to Adam. And then he told him, eat hard from this, uh, this, because when you eat those seed, those seed will come up inside you. And you will be better than those two, two, two Malikain that this, this, uh, this tree came from. I will show you the sign, the sign after. So he ate hard from this apple till he ate from the seeds. Who knows how many seeds he ate? Like logically, how many seeds? Two, two seeds. I don't want to ask how did you know. But there's two seeds he ate. Why two seeds? Because look now, it's not bad because we're all old. Look at what we call it in Arabic, Aura. Aura means yani the private part of the man. The private part of the man has two seeds inside it. And the private part of the woman does not have any seeds. Why, of that? Why is that? If you look at the older Adams, they didn't have 
this this private part like us Th they didn't have it the same way we had it why because when when adam he did this this thing allah azza wa jal he want to show us the sin you know the christians they always keep telling you the main sin the main sin you ask him what is the main sin nobody know what is it nobody know what is the main sin actually the main sin exists inside our body and allah azza wa jal covered it because why because he does not want you to to show this bad thing that you are trying to be in a level of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and we existed inside Adam because we loved this Adam, we were partners with him. It had it has many. It's a big mechanism. We were inside Adam. We were deciding with him. It's a Adam. He representing us. Adam, the our Adam is representing us. Representing the ego we live in. So Allah azza wa jalla created us with emotions created us with brain different people be be before us they, they either they were very very smart because their emotion was very low and either they were very 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 emotional with no brain at all some some of different atoms and how did we know that we know it through the philosophy we are the only people who made something called philosophy we're the only people who made something called poetry because poetry and philosophy is combining science and combining emotions at the same time so this this is the first part. Why I'm mentioning this? It's it's connecting to knowing Imam Mahdi sallallahu alaihi. I want you to I want you to step in a, in the reality of things. I don't want you to come here and tell you why. Uh, for example, Imam Ali married Sayyid al Zahra. Sayyid al Zahra, let's say we, we, she was good person. Imam Ali was good person. So they said let's let, let's let's make them marry each other and then we'll be happy. I don't want to talk like this. I want I want you to know the deeper things in life. Religion is connected very strongly with science. Science is connected very strongly with religion because they continue each others. So inside the Quran over here we say وقاسم إني لكما من الناصحين. What does it mean قاسمهما? Two meanings again. The meaning, first meaning is he kept swearing that it is go something good for them to eat the apple. And the same thing from my meaning, I'm giving you a, a proof for what I said to you. قاسمهما mean he was a partner with them on eating this apple. Qasamuma, you see, you can you can translate that, right? Qasamuma, yani make partnership together, or I can say qasam. You see, this is the beauty of the Arabic language, because he did those things at the same time. He s kept saying, swearing, I swear to God, this is good for you. At the same time, it means that he was partnering with them. Yani one word has a many meaning, and all the meaning are right. See the beauty of Arabic. So this is Khalifatullah Khalifa ala al-Arad Khalifatullah, yani the successor This is what they say, the successor His successor is every one of us yani I, I, I keep myself, For example, meeting Christians Christian people, they say we are the successor We have a successorship Allah Azza wa Jal or God gave us The successor, many Muslims they keep thinking Oh we have We have uh, uh, good yani nahna We are presenting Allah Azza wa Jal In reality we don't present Allah Azza wa Jal Look, even in our home, we're always angry, we're always swearing, we keep hearing songs, let's say, yani bad things, we keep going, doing bad things, uh, uh, gossiping. So how can someone like this be Khalifatullah ala earth? Someone who presenting Allah on earth? No, it doesn't make any sense. I'm just trying to get it closer to you. Since Adam alayhi salam, he was a prophet, but over there, he did not have a test. Over there, we were having that test. All of us, we were having that test through Adam. We were conscious over there. Not conscious through brain. We had the ultimate consciousness. When someone dies, he's not surprised. For example, when some one of us, let's say, inshallah, Allah, may God bless you guys, all of you. When someone dies, we're not going to be, oh, where I am? I don't know. Oh, he's an angel. Oh, I'll be scared. No. When I when I die, I know he's an angel because I know angels how look like. We know we lived with angels, we we lived with all the spirits. We know how the samawat look like, but we need to remember in the Qahori Quran, Allah Azza wa Jal when he keeps sending his prophet, he tell the prophet go make pharaohs remember. He doesn't say go make him Muslim, right? Did you ever read uh, read this ayah? He 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 sent Musa alayhi salam Moses and he said make him remember. Remember what? He's not Muslim. What he's going to remember? Remember what we were before coming here. We know all this information. For example, if in another life, after maybe 100 years later, 
we maybe if we have a gathering you will look at me and start making fun of me saying oh we know all this information why you kept telling this telling us this on earth and convince us we know it but we did we need to remember it we need to remember this because it, it's the truth so the representative of Allah is is has to be clean clear and one of those signs that always make uh, rem remembering like make us feel bad about is we are trying to be better than Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam or, or better than Imam Ali which is Imam Mahdi is the continuous r rhyme of Imam Ali why many people now we, when we speak about Imam Mahdi sallallahu alaihi wasallam uh, they will say okay why you give him that import anyone any one of you can be Imam Mahdi what the Sunnis they believe Imam Mahdi that he will be he will come he, like he will be like a regular boy and then he will grow up in a regular family and suddenly our angel will come in and will say oh you're Mahdi I will say oh I'm Mahdi you're great thank you and then he will be he will make the Dawlat al-Adl no it's not like that always have someone to present Allah Azza wa Jal in a matter of he's very clean he's very clear so when Adam alayhi salam he came into earth Allah Azza wa Jal and Holy Quran said وَلِنَرَ تَقَلُّبَكَ فِي السَّاجِدِينَ all the uh, all the prophets they used to do sujood all of them why because they want to be closer to Allah Azza wa Jal to have no Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam inside them there's many 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 narration even from the Christian side they will say the prophets for example you look at his face he's he glowing nur 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 when he marry someone and then his son will will come up that nur will go will leave his face and go to his son son's face and then this is how they used to track where is the nur of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Yani all the prophet, their main struggle before him, before his his existence on earth, before his physical existence on earth, were struggling all of them to have the nur with them. And then after his, he came he came in Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. What the struggle came in? The struggle came in. Who is following Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam? So when someone say he come to you, he say. Oh, you Sunni and Shia, you keep fighting over nothing. Oh, you keep fighting over those religions and religion. It, it teach you peace. Yes, it does teach you peace. But what kind of peace? Who is the peace? Is teaching you. Yani, uh, yani many people m make like, for example, those atheists now. They keep saying, "Look, religion, what is doing to you?" Man, this is the main struggle. Before Ahmad, before Muhammad, the our Prophet Muhammad, it was the struggle. Who who get his nur? Who get who will be next to Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam? When he came in with his ha family hall, we are fighting over who is who ha who have the best knowledge of Rasulullah, who follow the Rasulullah, who have this nur inside him too. It is same thing. So that, that does the Quran expire? If you say the Quran expired, then you are not a Muslim. None of the if if you bring me one ayah inside the Quran and you say there is no more meaning than that, then the Quran is not divine. This is one of biggest trickiest thing ever that the the Western people, the, the mainly the atheists, they're trying to convince you about the Quran. It's an old book. It's not an old book. None of the ayat inside the Quran expired. None of it. Even if let's say Allah Azza wa Jalla is speaking about in the last uh, surah or uh, in the Quran, He said, "Tabbat ya da Abi Lahab wa tabba." Tab Allah Azza wa Jalla is speaking about Abu Lahab, the uncle of the Prophet. You will say he died and the and the surah expired. No, Abu Lahab he represented a system, a system Abu Lahab, and his wife is a system. We live with it now. Anything hurting you is a system made by Abu Lahab. It is. I can show you all the these proof from the Holy Quran. So, who is the real successor of Allah Azza wa Jal in earth? It's not you, not me, not anyone. Even though biggest ulama. Shia ulama like Sayyid al-Sadr alayhi salam uh, not alayhi salam rahmatullah alayhi Sayyid al-Sadr he made a huge, big book beautiful book he was a great philosopher he was he made it about we are Khalifatullah al-Ard actually we are but not an insan not the complete divine insan not us not us even though the ayat the ayat inside the Quran we're always talking about the Bashar and insan and Bashar in the Quran I want you to notice that when you read Quran if you read it, I wish you, you, you learn more Arabic. 
even the Arabic people who speak Arabic and read Arabic, he they don't notice the difference. Some ayat is saying insan, like human being, and some ayat say bashar. And people think it's same thing. No, it's not same thing. The insan is always bad person inside the Quran. They say Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Well, well, Asr inna al-insan la fi khusr. He's, you know, Allah Azza wa Jalla is swearing by the Asr. The insan is a khusr, is in a bad position, a different place. Kafar al-insan wa ma akfara. Yani uh, all the insan ayat you see the insan in it, it's a, it has a bad meaning, and all the ayat that has bashar, it has a good meaning. مثلا رسول الله هو سين قل إنما أنا بشر مثلكم يوحى إلي أنما إلهكم إلى واحد الله when he, when he speaking رسول الله he saying I am a بشر and those أنبياء is بشر too so when he's when some people say oh رسول الله he died خلاص it's not important anymore no he is from the بشر if you wanna really be from the شيعة رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم from the شيعة إمام علي you don't you cannot be from the إنسان you have to be from the بشر side يعني let me give you an example one guy came to one of the Imams عليهم, and he told him, Oh, please bless me, um, Imam. I am from your Shias. And Imam looked at him, he was angry. He said, No, you're not from our Shia. You are following us, but you're not our Shia. He said, What do you mean? I, I do I love you, I I do I said no. It's not just by love and those things. You have to be very close to Allah. You have to have taqwa, you have to have a uh, good nafs inside you. Not just because you were wearing big uh, ring and big la uh, la like big sword and big tattoo over here, and you always put an ashid while you're driving, and it's gonna make you good shia. No, it's not that. No, it's not that at all. He said, if you wanna be good shia, be like Salman, Salman al-Fari, Salman al-Muhammadi, be like Abu Dhar al-Ghafari, be like Ammar bin Yasser. For example, if what what does it mean to be Ammar bin Yasser? Now we have many fitan, fitna, fitna, always, always. Many ideas, many people, for example, on Facebook, they will say, they will, yeah, they will say, there's a CDs now on your door. Don't take them, those Quranic CD. If you take them, there's virus inside them. Don't open anything. All this is, is nothing. It's 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 rubbish. It's make to make you always fear, fearing something that doesn't exist. Why? Because they want you to always be scared from nothing. They want you to not to follow Allah Azza wa Jal, not to always be with where is Imam Mahdi now. Where is he now? Where is what he's doing? He doesn't want you to be just what he's doing. Yani he's not going to be a place eating pizza. Masalan. Yani I don't want you to always limit limit where exactly what he's doing. In the meaning of what, what, they, what he's doing, yani is he he's preparing us to do something. Can you please, Maulana, prepare me to? Can you prepare me, Maulana? For example, how do you prepare? You start with yourself as the road of the Imam Mahdi. To understand who is real Adam. Our Adam is a person who wanted to be like Muhammad and Ali. And which is impossible because Muhammad and Ali are made by Allah Azza wa Jal. And the only way to know Allah is through them. So your road to Allah Azza wa Jal is, has to be through Muhammad and Ali. Not without them. Not equal to them. You cannot believe that you, with your ego that you are the best person ever. The more you believe you are the best person ever, you are you're becoming more and more limited. More, you were not when I was maybe for I remember maybe 14 years old. I start always open, for example, this Quran, not Quran, dua saying, Qala Amirul Mu'minin, and uh, reading Amirul Mu'minin, everything Amirul Mu'minin, Amirul Mu'minin, Amirul Mu'minin. I said, Okay, anybody can be like Amirul Mu'minin, you know, those prayers I can do them, and so on and so on. I uh, this dua I can do. I start doing the first day, doing the dua, Salatul Layl. All the what he used to do, Amirul Mu'minin. All the I I start bring like a book and saying, uh, you know, writing wisdom from myself, like you know, comparing myself to Amirul Mu'min. The first day, second day, I I gave up. It's impossible to be something like Amirul Mu'min, a person who said I divorced life three times. And when when the, the teacher, the religion teacher, he told us Amirul Mu'min said I divorced life to a third three times. And I, I looked at the teacher, everyone inside the room said, I divorced it too, I divorced it too. I said, how can you even say I divorced the life yet? We were 15. I mean, how how a person can say I divorced life? It doesn't make any sense. So when you grow older till this moment, it's hard for it's hard it's uh, for me to say I divorced life yet. It's, it's requiring a lot of work, a lot of work through. You're going to be tested with everything. You're going to be tested with everything. 
if you are a mu'min, everything gonna be against you. In, uh, life is not smooth, easy. You're gonna just wake up, take your, be a doctor, and then go open whatever, and then you make money, and then hala, it's not gonna be like that. If you are true Shia of Amir al Mu'mineen, Amir al Mu'mineen said, if you wanna be my Shia, Absher bil bala. Yani, wait for the bala, it's coming for you from everywhere. It's coming from ants, from jinn, from shayateen, from everything. And the only way to fight them is to have faith of Allah Azza wa Jal. To have faith. And the only faith you can have, always say in all your struggle, Al Ghaus al Ghaus ya Amir al Mu'min. Al Ghaus al Ghaus ya Mahdi. Yani, please be with me, Imam Mahdi. I'm with you, be with me. This is the best prescription for all the problem. If you, anything happened to you, just say, please be with me, Imam Mahdi. I'm with you. Please take me with you. Keep me with you. Open my heart to you. It doesn't. I told you, it's not just a easy road to to just go in it. No, it's very deep. Now, uh, Imam Mahdi Salam Allah alayhi, alayhi is is doing many things on earth. There's some narration saying that he does not sleep. He, Allah Azza wa Jal, when he make him live 1,400 years, he can make him not sleep. It's normal. It's uh, the miracle of Allah Azza wa Jal. Why he's not sleeping? Because there's many things he's working on us individually one by one when 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 someone tell you i dreamed about imam he told me do that this one he will say imam i was reading uh, something on facebook i kept saying really I, this has happened last week a person called me said I, i'm i'm very fascinated about this what do you mean ahlul bayt did so and so it doesn't make any sense and then really i told him just pray pray to rika'ah at night say allah please guide me and really he did that the second day he said it's impossible he said what he said i was flipping facebook and someone out of nowhere appeared yani from their friend and those friends they are not deep in philosophy or any religion or they just put an article and inside this article they have their answers yani just by prayer everything is made by God everything guide you to God God does not come to you personally and he speak to you no when he say God guide me he's gonna send you this person you, may, you might be walking on the street and someone he will tell you so and so like one time when I went to Ziyara last time, I will just say this and I'll conclude. I was walking toward Imam Hussein. This is last, last month. Uh, there was no like walking or something. Just was, I was just wondering with my friend. I told him, why, why do you think those millions come and start walking? Uh, is it better to take all this money? You know, like m uh, th they estimated $48 billion food uh, only on those three days for the Mashaya. 48 billion dollar look how much money yani because there's 20 million people are walking and they're all eating for free so i said why do they don't take this mo this money and they open stuff for orphans and so on he said i i don't really know i said you know i'm not trying to be against anything but please amir uh, imam hussein please guide us are we thinking bad about this and so on so he said after i left he called me immediately when I went to Lebanon, this, the second day after. He said, you know what, what happened today? I said, what? He said, I was walking my world, and then there's an Iranian guy, he hit me from the back. I said, yes, yes, what do you, what do you want? He said, everyone come here because we are so poor. Uh, yani they come walking because many people are very poor. And if those people, they don't give us money, no one will come visit Imam Hussein. Every one of these ones, no one, Allah Azza wa Jal is not going to open the doors of heaven. Yani he gave him many reasoning that when we ask the question, Allah Azza wa Jal, he sent it through that person. Yani Allah Azza wa when he asked Allah Azza wa Jal, he didn't come and he directly spoke to us. No, he sent someone that maybe was walking in the street and he felt like talking to that guy for no reason and he told him the reason. So Allah Azza wa Jal, he's always speaking to us. Always remember that, always remember everything in your life is to guide you toward Imam Mahdi if you want to be really with Imam Mahdi so if you want to be with Imam Mahdi you have to struggle you always have to clean yourself cleanse yourself always do istighfar always do salawat ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad always don't think you're the smartest person ever always there's someone smarter than you always no, no matter what no matter what you study same thing like Musa and Al-Khadr always search for the best of the best always not, not just the surface of religion no Religion is everything in life, not just we're just saying because we're Muslim. No, we have many proof of that, and Imam Mahdi is representing this. So if you want to go toward Imam Mahdi, you take both religion and science. Inshallah, we will expand more and more on how to how the perfection of of the being of ourself to go toward Imam Mahdi. Salamullah alayhi. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Al-Asr inna al-insan ala fi khusr. 
الى الذين امنوا وعملوا الصالحات وتواصوا بالحق وتواصوا بالصبر والسلام عليكم ورحمه الله. صلوا على محمد وعلى محمد.